I'll say I'll say yes, yeah, Lord, yes, in the midst of
family and friends that's out there on social media, those who are on Facebook, those who are on YouTube, those who have called in, we greet you right now in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's good to be in the house this morning on this first Sunday of March, this first Sunday of March. Wow, wow. Thank God for the praise team. What an awesome praise and worship we just experienced. Thank God for the musicians that's here with me this morning. Thank God for Carlton. Any of y'all, thank God for you. If you're excited to be here, part of our virtual worship service this morning, why don't you send hearts up, send thumbs up real quick as we prepare to hear a word from the Lord on this first Sunday of March. Come on, send hearts up, send thumbs up real quickly, my brothers and sisters, as we give God some praise, we give God some glory. Come on, you can do better than that. Crank it up, musician, let him hear us. Give God some praise, give God some, some glory. Thumbs up, hearts up this morning, if you don't mind. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, share that page with somebody. Let somebody know that you're part of any of Baptist Church virtual worship service this morning. Well, let's get ready for the word. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. Eternal God, we thank you this morning. We bless your name. We give you glory and honor for a new day. A new day of brand new mercy, Lord. We thank you for keeping us all week long. Thank you for your protection, your love, and your mercy. Lord, we just want to say thank you this morning because we know that if it had not been for you, we wouldn't be here this morning. And for that reason, we give you we give you glory. We give you praise right now. Use us in the mighty name of Jesus that I rightly divide your word and that your word will fall on the good ground. Souls will be saved. Saints will be be reviving. Fast fighters will come back home now. Forgive us, Lord, of our sins. Cleanse us this morning from all the unrighteousness and allow your spirit to rest and rule upon us. Give us, Lord, everything we need in the name Jesus, we say thank you. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you. In the name of Jesus, we lift up holy hands unto you this morning. Lord, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus, who died on the cross, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. On this first Sunday of March, Lord, we say thank you for the third month of this year. Your grace is sufficient. Your grace, Lord, is sufficient. I thank you this morning for watching over us when we couldn't watch over ourselves. We thank you right now. We thank you right now. Jesus name, we pray. All of God's children that say amen. Send hearts up, send thumbs up. This morning, send hearts up, thumbs up. This morning, musician, y'all sound good over there. You sound, sound good. I think we got a little old school in us this morning. I want to go old school real quick, go back down, down Century Florida Boulevard real quick. Jesus. I just want to thank you. Yes, Jesus. I just want to thank you, my mind. Jesus. I just want to thank. For being, that's it now, that's it man. For being so, so good. Can we do that one more time? Facebook, send hearts up, thumbs up. Jesus, if you thank for this morning, I just want to thank you. You know you got something to be thankful for. Send hearts up, send thumbs up. Jesus. 
just want to thank you, my, 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 Jesus, Ooh, I just want to thank you, why, Lord, why, for being, you ought to sit high some right now, for being so, so good, I got one more, man. I got one more die. His mercy. Woo! That's why we're here. And do it for forever. His mercy. His mercy. My, my, my. And do it forever. I know it does. His mercy. His mercy. His mercy. And do it for I want to take my time and read, if you don't mind. No, I don't read a lot of verses before I give the text, but uh, of the subject, I want to read these verses because it helps set the tempo for our, our word for today. Ephesians chapter 2. Uh, Ephesians chapter 2, musicians, chapter 2. I want, to, I want to look at verse number 1, starting, I'm going to read all the way down to verse 10 if I can. Verse 1 begins by saying, And you have he quickened, <laughs> who were dead in trespasses and sins. Yes, sir. Verse 2 said, Where in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power, the power of the air, the spirit now, or I said, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Among whom also we are. We all had our conversation in times past in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and the mind, you know, the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Bear with me, Facebook. Let's continue to read. Let's continue to read, YouTube. Let's continue to read those who called in. Verse 4 said, But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he he loved us. Even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. And have raised us up, watch this, raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Verse 7 said that in, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. Yes. And I love verse 8, brother. I love verse 8, brother man. But by grace are ye saved Good. through faith. Yes, and that not of yourself, it is a gift mm -hmm. of God. Yes, Good God Almighty. Verse 9 said, Not a works, not a works, not a works, lest any man should boast. But then verse 10 said, for we are his workmanship yeah. created in Christ Jesus to all into good works which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Wow. This past week I've been dealing with our 
morning meditation at the 9, 12, and 7 o'clock on uh, Tuesday through Thursday by way of Facebook. Well, we've been talking about new life. And I, I want to continue that same thought process this morning. I want to use for a subject this morning a new life in Christ. A new life in Christ. In Christ. Yes, by way of hearts, by way of thumbs up, why don't you repeat after me, if you don't mind, a new life in Christ. A new life in Christ. Allow me to set the temple, Brother Die, Brother Man, real quickly, if you all don't mind, because we're in chapter two, but you know how I do it. Before that was a chapter two. Good God of mine. That was a chapter one. Yes, and, and Paul does something real pretty in his writing in chapter 1 because what he does, Paul prays God for his glorious plan of redemption. And not only does he, he glorify God and give God glory for his redemption, but Paul also in, verse, in chapter 1, he explained that though that through God's son we can receive the inheritance of eternal life. He said not only can we receive it, but he, he, he validates it because he said it, we can receive it because we've been sealed by God. Oh, and sealed by God, why don't you say by God? Because of the Holy Spirit. Good. Paul, he, he ends chapter 1. If you don't mind, Facebook, let me paint the picture. He ends chapter 1 and Paul prays for the believers. Who's the believers? Us. He prays that that they would, watch this, that they would want to know God more. Good. Can I talk to somebody this morning? Because that should be our prayer each day, that we get to know God more. He said, I want to know God more. Watch this. And he wants them to open up their spiritual eyes that they would be able to have an understanding more fully of the plan of salvation. Because salvation is more than just being saved. It's, it's benefits. I, has, I wish I had some help in here. This benefits of your salvation. And you need to know the plan. It's just like on your job when you get hired, they give you a plan, they give you a health plan, they give you benefits. And you need to know what is all included in your salvation besides I love the Lord. He said, because he wants them to understand that they have to have this relationship with God and his family. So... He ends chapter one, and <laughs> I feel good this morning. He he gets there in chapter two, and Paul start to expound further on the results of the redemption <laughs> and the adoption <laughs> into God's family. He, he he said, "Let me tell you about you that's been <laughs> that's been saved, that you've been adopted into this family, and if you in this family, you need to know what's included." Good God Almighty. <laughs> In the family, he, he tells them, he, he shows them that, that they need to have faith and that they need to invest their lives in Christ Jesus. And he tells them, if you do this for you receive a new life. Old thing, I wish I had some help, have passed away. Behold, new things. He tells them there is an unparalleled life benefit. Of serving God. And I want to get to that part this morning. Because our new life can reflect in three areas this morning. Right, right, right. I feel like preaching. I feel like preaching. Our new life can reflect in three areas this morning. By way of hearts, by way of thumbs up. Why don't you just repeat after me one more time. A new life in Christ. A new life in Christ. He says the first thing you got to understand about this new life. Is point number one. A dead life. See, you, he helps us understand. Let me let me talk about the dead life before we start talking about the new life. Is that one person would say at one time? In order to know where you're going, you got to know where you came from. Good God Almighty! And he talks about the dead life in Ephesians chapter one, round the first three verses. He, he read it. It reads as follows. Let me just share it with you. He said, "And you have he quickened." Who were dead in trespasses and sins. Uh, one number one, a dead, a dead life. Notice what the Apostle Paul 
how he begins this chapter by describing a terrible, uh, terrible, the, the terrible troubles of the sinner. Well, I don't care how saved you are, when we was a sinner, we was in some, some terrible things, and we did some terrible things, but he, Paul said that we need to understand that without Christ, we are spiritually dead, good God Almighty, and our sinful lifestyle, he said we are spiritually dead in our sinful lifestyle, he said not only are we spiritually dead, but he tells us we are hopeless. And he said, then thirdly, we are desperate. Can I tell somebody that when I was in my sin, I found myself being spiritually dead. I found myself feeling hopeless. I found myself being desperate. If you ever felt like that in your own sinful life, why don't you send hearts up, send thumbs up, in a way of agreeing with me that don't you not the only one, good God Almighty, you're not the only one that have felt hopeless. You're not the only one that have felt desperate. You're not the only one that have lived a sinful lifestyle. And the question I wanted to ask this morning, for the little time that I have, the question I want to ask this morning, my brothers, what does it really mean to be spiritually dead? What does it mean to be spiritually dead? Well, those two words, spiritually dead, it means to be separated from God by our sin. To be separated. There's a gulf between us and God. We've been separated by using an extreme word like dead that Paul used in the text. I want to understand what is it that Paul is really talking about when he used this word dead. It emphasizes helplessness. It, in, it, 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 it uh, emphasizes the condition that we were as non-believers. Can I talk to someone this morning? A dead man can do nothing for himself. Good God Almighty, he can do nothing for himself. He is dead, and when he's dead, guess what he needs? He needs a miracle. Good God Almighty, when he's dead, he needs a, a miracle. He, he needs divine intervention to take place. Good God Almighty, in his life, in order to live again, he, he needs somebody like Jesus. And that is what God has done for us. He allowed Jesus to be the intervention that we needed. He allowed Jesus to be the miracle that we needed to give us life. Good God Almighty. But notice how we are dead. I wish I had time to finish this whole sermon this morning. Notice how we are, we are dead. Notice how we are, we are dead. <laughs> Not physical. Mm. Not the physical death. But he said we are spiritually dead. How? In our trespasses. <laughs> watch this word, Brother Di, that he used, trespass. It comes from a Greek word. Brother Man, watch this. It means to lapse. Uh, watch this, to deviate from what has been revealed as the right way of living. It means to lapse. It means to deviate from what has been revealed as the right way of living. In other words, it's as though you have been given God's, watch this, um, map quest, God's, um, what's the one we, I use all the time? What's, what's, what, what's the advice you use for you when you get lost, man, and you're trying to find your way? I use ways. Yeah, or, or Google Maps. Good God Almighty. It's as though you have put the address in from your current location to where you're trying to get to. And watch this. Ways tells you step by step how to get there. And what I love about these new devices, where they not only do they tell you how to get there, they give you what is known as ETA, estimated time of arrival. Good God, I'm about to teach, dog. And, 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 and it's as though when you got saved, God had gave you, he gave you your ways. And what is the way? The Holy Word. The Bible is your ways. The way, the word of God is your Google map. The word of God is your, your ways in order to get you from here to heaven. 
good God Almighty. And watch this. And as though whenever you allow mm, trespasses to take place, it is though you have started off right. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. And, 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 and the word of God says, turn right and you turn left. You deviate, good God Almighty, from the direction that was given to you. And you know many times in our life, even as we're saved, we find ourselves deviating, good God Almighty, from the ways that we should live because Satan is still being the teach though, I think I will. He said, not only are we dead in trespasses, Paul said we're dead in sins. He said sins with an S, good God. Was suggest to me, brother Die, was suggest to me, brother Man, was suggest to me, Facebook, was suggest to me, YouTube, those who have called in. My sin, good God Almighty, may not be your sin. And, and your sin may not be my sin, but he tells us we all have trespass. I got a Bible in the, in the in, in the model prayer said, those who have trespassed against us. Good God Almighty, forgive them, Lord. Watch this. And that word that he used here, dead and trespassing, that he mean dead in sin, he really paints the picture. Watch this. It suggests, watch this, our deeds, our acts, in which, watch this, it paints the picture as though you have missed the mark. Good God Almighty. It paints the picture as though you have a board arrow and you're ready to, 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 to aim at the target and you miss the target. Can I tell y'all something that many times in my own life, many times in my own personal life, I, I wake up in the morning and I'm ready to, to hit the target, but somewhere during the day, I find myself, I have deviated. I have missed the mark. Is there anybody on Facebook, anybody on YouTube that would be honest with yourself this morning and by way of hearts, well, well, thumbs up, just indicating I missed the mark. I miss, I miss the mark. But notice what else Paul tells us in the verse. He said in verse 2, he said, we're in, in time past, he walked according to the course of this world. I like how the New International Version pins it, Brother Die. It pins it this way. Let me just read it to y'all this morning, if y'all don't mind. It, it reads as follows. He said, when, you, when we were without Christ, we followed the ways of the world. Ah, we followed the ways of the world. And I love the words to follow the ways of the world. Can I teach this morning real quick? Can I just teach? Give me about, what, is it seven minutes left? Give me, it's seven minutes, seven minutes. You know how we do it. We don't try to teach all of it on a Sunday because you're not going to, you're not going to attain all of it. Because you at home, you all comfortable. You, you got your house shoes on. You got your house robe on. And I know, I know you're not going to attain no 50 minute sermon. Good God Almighty. So let me just give you a little bit to hold you. A little bit to hold you. Let me teach you a little bit further this morning because to follow the ways of the world simply means to live our lives in accordance, in the accordance with the sinful world around us instead of living the way the Lord had asked us to live. So in verse 1 he said we are dead in trespasses and sin. In verse 2, he said, we follow the ways of the world. But in verse 3, I'm just walking the text this morning. In verse 3, Paul pins, watch this, among whom also we are, we all had our conversation and time passed in the lust of the flesh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo! How I what he said. He said right here, he said, among whom we also had our, our conversation in times past in the lust of the flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and whereby 
nature, the children of wrath, even as our as others. In other words, Paul saying here, he really saying humans have been bent towards selfishness and fulfilling their own desires. Question. Question. Facebook. Six minutes. Question, Facebook. Have you ever found yourself, watch this, bent over, trying to satisfy the desires of your own flesh? Good God of mine. Bent over, desiring to satisfy your own mind. Good God of mine. Bent over, uh, in order to, watch this, act in a way of selfishness. Because in a word, in other words, it was all about you. It was all, all about you. Well, uh, six minutes. But yet five. Five. Five minutes. So Paul states in at point one, a dead life. Paul said we are we're dead in trespasses. And Paul said we're dead in sins. And then Paul said yeah, and we followed the ways of the world. And Paul, Paul said, we are bent towards uh, selfishness and uh, fulfilling uh, our own desires. Yeah. And, uh, but lastly, yeah, I feel like preaching now. Uh, Paul said, uh, before we came, uh, we came to Christ. Uh, we, uh, we are by nature the children of Ralph. Uh, and I thought I asked Paul uh, this morning uh, before I leave, uh, what does he mean? By the nature of the children around. Uh, Paul said uh, there was a time uh, that we lived the life. Uh, we had no hope uh, because of our sinful ways. Uh, and the truth of the matter is uh, that we are doomed uh, and we are desperate. Uh, I feel like preaching, y'all. The truth of the matter is that we needed a redeemer. And I'm excited on this first Sunday of March as we observe Holy Communion. No more the Paul, the same Paul, said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 23, that the Lord Jesus on the same night one betrayed him before they took bread. And I heard Paul said when he had given thanks, he break the bread, good God Almighty, and he said, take eat. Was broken for you. And I heard Paul say, Do this in remembrance of me. And after the same manner, he also took the cup. And I heard him say, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it. It watches over me. I had the songwriter said the blood that Jesus shed.
washing me. If you know he washed you this morning, send hearts up. If you know he washed you, send thumbs up. I gotta leave you now. I'm on my way home. Die, I gotta go. Man, I gotta go. YouTube, I gotta go. Facebook, I gotta go. Those who called in, I gotta go. But before I go, if you know you got a new life in Christ Jesus, send hearts up. If you know you got a new life in Christ Jesus, send thumbs up. If you know you've been washed in the blood, send thumbs up. If you know he died for you, send thumbs up. Send hearts up. Flood the stream this morning. Let the world know I got a new life in Jesus. New life in Jesus. We have experienced a dead life. But thank God through Jesus Christ that we have a new life. Eternal God, we thank you. We bless your name. Give you glory right now. Forgive us of all our sins. And Lord, we pray for someone who do not know you. It's out there on social media land. That they will receive you this morning. They will confess with their mouth, believe in their heart that God has raised his son from the dead. They be saved. Father, we pray right now that your believers are revived from your word today. We have new life. For that man, that woman, that boy, that girl who had wandered off, Lord, that they will come back to you knowing that you are there with stretched open arms to receive them back. We receive it and we believe it right now. We confess it knowing it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, send hearts up, send thumbs up. That word was for you this morning. That word was for you. Send thumbs up, send hearts up right now as we give God glory and we give God, give God praise. As we get ready to prepare to eat of his body and drink of his blood, I ask at this time that you get your cup together, the cup of the juice that you may have, the water, the, uh, the Kool-Aid, the, the Coke, whatever you may have, your bread, your, your crackers, your cookies, or whatever you may have as we, we use this to symbolize the communion in our absence of in-person worship. So we have our crackers, the musicians and I, we have our crackers this morning. We have our juice, the juice will be our water. And so you use what you have and we pray over it that it be used as a sacred moment. As a moment as we show remembrance of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's bow our head, eternal God, we thank you for this day as we come on this first Sunday of March. Eat of your body, drink of your blood. We pray right now you forgive us of all our sin, change from a temple use to a spiritual use. Father, you get the glory and the honor that you will cover us until we can come back again to eat of your body and drink of your blood. We thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's take the bread where you at right now, whether you have the crackers, the cookies, whatever you have. We are praying over it right now. We know that God has blessed it. And as the Bible was telling us earlier, he break the bread. He said, take, eat, this is my body. Watch this, which was broken for you. Let us all eat of his body. Shed the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He said in the same manner, he took the cup on Facebook. He took the cup 
you to. He took the cup those we have called in. And he tells them this cup is the New Testament in my blood. He says, often as you do this, you show remembrance of me. It wasn't spilt, it was shed for the remission of our sins. Let us all drink of his blood.
during this past year, we're in a one year mark of this pandemic and you all have been blessing us at the church by way of being faithful to your tithes and your offering. We never had to use one Sunday, one month to beg or do anything out of the normal. You've just been obedient. And so I wanna say thank you on behalf as your pastor and the finance ministry. Thank you for taking care and support the ministry in our absent and our uh, in-person worship. So thank you so much. Well, let's continue to give back to the Lord. Those who uh, have not been able to be as faithful as some, this is a good opportunity on this first Sunday to give back to the Lord as the Lord has blessed you. All right, let's do it. You know how the Lord has blessed you over this past week. Let's give our 10th. Let's give our 10th of our income that we have received from the Lord. Let's pray real quick as you prepare and use our seven ways of giving as we get ready to pray. Eternal God, we thank you. We love you. We thank you for those who are able to give this morning, those who want to. And Father God, we just ask that you bless them. Those who got a desire and want to give, just don't have, we ask a blessing upon them, Lord, for their willing heart to, they want to give to them, Lord. And so we just say thank you. Bless right now. Let it be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom that we come short of anything as we give to you our tent and our, we sow our seed of love to you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's do it real quickly. We'll be on our way out. We'll get some good laughs in. Um, we want to, those who want to come out of church, 2930 Newton Road, you can do that. Those who want to mail it in, that's the P.O. Box 1614. And thirdly, if you want to use the uh, push pay, you can use our push pay. That's any of y'all, C-L-E-M. You can use that as a way of giving your tithes and offering. There's seven features on there. You can do your tithes and offering, love offering to the pastor if you so desire. And then fourthly, if you want to give the pastor a love offering by using his own personal uh, cash app, you can do that. Um, no, 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 no pressure on you if you desire to want to do that. As I say, week by week, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever. It helps, and I thank you so much for what you're doing in the ministry. So you give to the person. Cash out, that's the dollar sign, Vincent Gerald Dorch. All right, let's do that real quickly. We're on our way out, and we will see you all next week. Next week, we'll see you all next week as we continue to come back to the text of where we left off today, okay? All right, eternal God, we thank you, we bless you, we give you glory. Now to him who's able to keep us from falling, present us faultless, we go to throne of grace. We unto him dominion, majesty, and power, now henceforth and forevermore. All of God's children did say amen. All right, you all be safe. We get closer and closer to the point where uh, I feel like we'll be able to return back in small numbers of having the Lord lead us by having in-person service. But in the meantime, you all that's eligible to take the uh, vaccine, we ask that you do that. Uh, trust God. Um, we want to get back to the point where we can be back here on a Sunday by Sunday in person. And so uh, we need you to uh, follow the guidelines of CDC. Don't forget that. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Continue to practice social distancing and everything. Do the best that you can do. Okay? All right. I love you all. God bless you. We are on our way out of here. Crank it up, musician. Do your thing. Do your thing.
Sister Joyce, you know they don't do it like this no more. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't do it how we used to do it. How they do it now? How they do it now, Mary Lee? Well, well, let me tell you what I saw. Let me tell you what I saw. I went to one church, uh -huh. and, and the, the door keeper, the usher. Yes, uh-huh. She was all naked legs. Naked legs. <laughs> like what? Did hell no white stockings on like 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 us? Oh, so Lord. Was, and her legs were so ashy. Oh Lord. I know they be so ashy. Sometimes you don't want them to kneel and pray. They knees might crack and bleed. I know. I know. Oh, I know. They they just they don't they don't care. And she see the Bible say I'd rather be a dough keeper. Yes. You got to watch two mine in the doze line. That's right. Because <laughs> right. we ushers in the love. We ushers in love and we do it for Jesus. That's it. All for Jesus. All, All for, for Jesus. Jesus. I love what I do, Mayleen. You, you love it? I love what oh, I do. I love it. I couldn't have did it this long if I ain't love it. I know that's right. Because I tell you what, in the church house, uh -huh. you meet some contrary folk. I already know. Hey, hey, hey. You know I know. And if you don't love it, you can't keep doing this thing. That's time. right. That's right. And then we're getting up in age, maybe. We is. You know, we be standing at that door all day. And, you know, my bladder not like it used to be. <laughs> I be standing up there. And I be having to go to the bathroom. And sometimes I just got to go in the back about that door like this right here. And I, just can't, I can't even go out the right way, girl. I'm telling you. Yeah. Well, I tell you. We be standing up there like soldiers. We be standing like soldiers. Your will and do your way. I know it's in time. 